Hello friends, this is Sai, Sai Fanindra from SQL School. I assure you, complete practice oriented classes, completely technical, practical, interactive classes on beautiful and amazing data warehouse technology, Snowflake. Let's get started. Let's understand slowly what is Snowflake and why we need to go for it and how let's get started slowly step by step to get into snowflake let's start from the scratch what is database we'll understand what is database and types of database what is data warehouse for first five minutes the next five minutes we'll understand about snowflake what exactly the snowflake is a brief history and why to go for it? Why to go for the Snowflake data warehouse technology? And then we'll be understanding our actual course details regarding the duration of the course, what exactly we learn in our classes, type of support pertaining to technical clarifications project work modes of training and the prerequisites this particular short or demo or the introduction is planned for about 15 minutes about 15 minutes let's get started let's understand data warehouse a platform to store any type of data any amount of data no restrictions completely secured and easier to access and in database environment we would be involved in one or more of these job roles like design of databases or access from the databases or manage or administer the databases or a mix of all three with this information there are basically three different types of databases OLTP database OLAP database data warehouse we call it as data warehouse and HTAP a mix of above three HTAP. First, OLTP, Online Transaction Processing Database, mainly to store live real time data. We have OLAP, Online Analytical Processing Database, for analysis and forecast activities. Then we have Data Warehouse for old historical data then we have HTAP hybrid transactional analytical database like all in one assume for example a live cricket match that is OLTP ball to ball score we see expected run rate required run rate current run rate speculations calculations like expected run rate accurate forecast that is OLAP past old historical data comes from warehouse data warehouse anything inactive anything old is warehouse a mix of OLTP plus OLAP plus data warehouse is equal to HTAP hybrid transactional analytical database like all in one database like for example a google map live streaming live location plus expected time of arrival olap plus past navigations warehouse something like that let's concentrate on this particular warehouse component here it is data warehouse is a special type of database 
to store to store say old also called cold in short we call it as cold please by heart these new technical terms archived and inactive data it's all about old or cold archive inactive data that is called data warehouse to implement this data warehouse there are different technologies like for example you have amazon redshift azure synapse or sql pool and same way we have snowflake few popular data warehouse technologies on premise we have microsoft sql server cloud azure synapse sql pool same way we have snowflake cloud snow sql snow sql is a platform we will be learning in our classes to implement this data warehouse old historical data storage platform now what is snowflake yes here it is snowflake irons is a company from us a data warehousing company it is used to easily organize design manage and interpret data here we go initially snowflake used to use aws amazon web services amazon s3 for storage now we have microsoft azure and even google cloud platform gcp as backend for snowflake databases in our classes we will understand how to define new databases while taking the snowflake account it will ask us which kind of storage we need to use is it aws or azure or google cloud well we'll be taking those options anyway remember data warehouse technology snowflake is basically a old historical data store technology we need need not be aware of other cloud platforms like aws or azure to work on snowflake it's an internal process internal dependency we are talking about the main advantage of snowflake no or limited management activities but we need to have some knowledge on sql we will be using a variant of sql called snow sql it comes as a dws data warehouse as a service a friendly scalable and easy secured storage platform so in snowflake we work with something called virtual databases big data loads automated pipelines and non data platforms non database platforms like file systems etc so easy user interface we can easily spin up or scale down the capacity we need not worry about configurations or upgrades or errors everything your snowflake cloud provider will take care we'll understand the concepts from scratch anyway and we have automated scaling data lake activities we'll be understanding big data store components we have query optimization techniques security and as well we have monitoring alerting activities also when working with snowflake in our classes we will understand various formats of data and no software or hardware to be installed or configured completely cloud based 
So no hardware, completely virtual and easy maintenance management activities. It's 100% cloud infrastructure component. With this information, coming to our course details, we would be aiming at Snowflake certification. There are basically two different certifications, Snow Pro Core and Snow Pro Advanced Architect level. We'll be focusing on all possible snowflake concepts targeting at both core and advanced. We'll start from the scratch, no additional prerequisites except knowledge on SQL because we need to do snow SQL activities. So basics of SQL are required. Maybe Oracle or MySQL or Postgres or Microsoft SQL, our TSQL. Any one SQL we need to have knowledge on. Nothing else required. We'll take from the scratch. The main difference between Snow Pro Core and Snow Pro Advanced Architect level. Snow Pro Core certification is for starters beginners who would be involved in design and basic data load activities with little bit of scalability security and monitoring the next level snow pro advanced architect deals with next level big data loads automations pipelines security monitoring alerts troubleshooting data lake etc so duration of the course will go for about four weeks course plan for about uh, about 18 to 20 hours live online or on demand videos live online we have regular as well as weekends Or you may go for on-demand video, self-paced, wherein you can access at your own comfortable time. Videos would be available 24-7 for the given duration. And the complete class are highly technical. Certification guidance, study and practice material included in the course type of training completely 100% practical and real time. I'll take care of the day wise notes or the session wise notes material for study and certification including extra practice, interview FAQs, concept wise FAQs for every concept throughout the course, project work and more importantly project FAQs. If your interviewer asks you what you did in the previous project or what are your roles and responsibilities or for example a question like any scenario where you want a VSAT from the customer or any scenario where you need to escalate that issue or the support request to your SME, a subject matter expert or a lead or a technical manager. These kind of role based questions and properly formatted meaningful answers to be a part of the project FAQs. So here it is the prerequisites. I'll just get this way. Basic knowledge. of SQL. Any one is okay, either Microsoft or Oracle, any SQL is okay. And the job role would be data engineer. In case you are going for Azure data engineer, then the snowflake would be an extra add-on, preferred add-on item. However, Azure or Microsoft is not mandatory, not mandatory 
to step into snowflake but if you are looking for the data engineer profile then in addition to any other data engineering technology like data bricks or synapse sql pool azure additionally you may add snowflake or you can market snowflake as is a separate entity so vast for clarifications on your profile planning resume or kind of technology change for meaningful shift in your technology change you may always contact me for doubts and clarifications always so here the complete course content just in case right from introduction we'll go for architecture account creations and objects there are no sql concepts import exports life cycle big data loads various kinds of etl operations and from there you'll understand loading unloading incremental data and merge activities we will be learning the concept of virtual warehouse the need for virtual warehouse when it comes to reliance or dependency on the physical cloud based storage activities we'll understand the virtual warehouse with something else called virtual networks and private networks we'll understand it we we'll understand about backups restores time travels replication security management and monitoring activities we we'll understand about data factory and other data engineering terminology and with examples and finally chapter 18 is all about governance data governance column level securities managing the account managing the profile identity management etc yes chapter 15 16 and 18 are more into admin remaining all into engineering or remaining all into regular snowflake data professionals we call them as snowflake data engineers in general with this information i assure you complete practice orientation and you are always welcome to reach me for your doubts and clarifications glad to assist you see you in the live demo thank you very much have a nice time thank you once again